Hey guys, Skippy3 here again uh, with a quick tutorial on how physics works. Because uh, I know a lot of you have been commenting in my videos, you know, my, my builds keep collapsing, I don't understand the physics. Uh, so I hope I can help you out here today, guys, with a quick tutorial. Uh, so basically, what we're going to look at is I'm going to explain to you uh, the blocks and how they work. So if you go in and inspect a block, like the wood block here, uh, you see it has a max load of 24 and a mass of 4, uh, which means a wood block will hold up to other, 6 other wood blocks. Uh, so if we go over to our wood block over here, and we go out straight 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that means this wood block now has a load of 24 on it, and if we try to go one more block out, it'll all collapse. Uh, so that's how that works. Uh, now it also works in this fashion as well too. One, two, three. Let's say we go three out and three over. There we go. We got a little bit of a, a cross there. If we put another one on, boom, it all collapses. Uh, so the wood will hold up to six wood blocks. And uh, the rule also applies to uh, if you try to put wood onto a stronger concrete block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll collapse as well too. Uh, but of course, uh, you do have stronger blocks in the game, like your uh, concrete block here. We'll check this one out. Uh, the concrete block has a max load of 110 and a mass of 15. Uh, so if you divide uh, 110 by 15, that equals 7.33. So um, a concrete block can only hold up to 7 other concrete blocks before it collapses. So we'll go 7 out here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Okay, now we're seven blocks out. If we add another one on there, it'll all collapse. So it's basically the same thing. It goes. Um, now the concrete works on this as well too. If I try to throw concrete onto the wood, it's going to be too heavy right away and fall off uh, because the concrete can only hold 24 and two uh, concrete blocks equals 30. Uh, so it can only hold up to one concrete. Block. So remember that guys, uh, the block you're attaching the load to is very very important. Uh, and now we also have the steel block which is the strongest, it can hold up to 320, uh, but it has a mass of uh, 20. Uh, so what that means is you can get up to 16 blocks attached to the, the steel blocks. Uh, but this is where it gets interesting with the, uh, the stronger metals. So we're going to go out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, what happened? It's supposed to be able to hold 16 blocks. Okay, well, we'll go out 15, and we'll put one on the side. Uh, okay, we'll go out 15. Oh, and I gotta take these out, or they'll support the, uh, support the blocks, and they'll mute, mute my, uh, be able to do that. So basically guys, after 14 blocks out on metal, it loses its um, its support. So basically what that means is I'm out 14 blocks, so I should be able to attach two other blocks to the side of this anywhere else, uh, just not anywhere out past 14 because it takes gravity, gravity into effect as well, right? And of course, if I try to overload it, it's all going to come tumbling down and you definitely don't want to lose your metal. Uh, so basically guys, if you want to do um, like your biggest, strongest uh, support beams, use steel. Uh, I would say go out to a max of 13 blocks apart. Uh, put supports down in between them. The supports themselves don't matter. Like this, this rebar frame does not have impact at all on the support of this block. It's only the block itself that it supports. Um, now you can also do stuff to like the uh, this here, the uh, metal trusting block. It has the exact same stats as the uh, steel block, but you can shoot through it as well too. So the uh, the metal trusting block is actually very useful in, in builds if you need to shoot through a floor or whatnot, uh, instead of using the uh, the steel. Uh, and it's uh, I think it's slightly cheaper as well too if you make them in the forge. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a block up, and we'll put a we'll put a wood one up there so I don't have to make too too big of a platform here. And uh, we'll start going. So one, two, three, four, five, oops, six. Uh, can I go this way? I can. Cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll do this for each side here. Three, whoops, <laughs> if I can get it. Three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Uh, so now we have six going each way, right? So uh, essentially, if, if you think physically right, if I put a block here, it should collapse. Uh, 
Yeah, there you go. Uh, but it doesn't collapse the whole entire thing, it'll only collapse the corner. Uh, so basically, if you're building stuff out of wood frames, support on the sixth block, support on the sixth block, and there you go. Now it won't collapse. So you guys kind of get the deal here. So if I wanted to build another platform, I would put another one right here, build out to here, build out to here, and it should support the entire platform. Uh, so that's basically it guys, just figure out how far out you can go with each block and support it right at the end before it collapses. Uh, so that's your physics guys, I, I know um, it seems a little bit complicated at first but it's, it's really not. You just have to keep in mind the max load and the mass and which block you're actually attaching to which block because obviously if I throw 7 wood on here, it's not going to support it at all because the wood is weaker. So there you go guys, uh, if you have any further questions let me know down in the comments. I try to do my best to explain this in the most simple way possible. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for your support, all your likes and all your comments. It's been an amazing couple of weeks since uh, 7 Days to uh, the Die came out. Uh, if you want to uh, catch me on stream guys, catch me on Twitch. I do invite people live uh, to come play on our multiplayer world. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay classy, keep surviving, and peace. Tony,